I'm Stanislaus County Sheriff Jeff Dirksy. I'm here to talk about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in Waterford on Tuesday, December 13th, 2022. Deputies were dispatched to a call of shots fired inside of a residence at 13003 Bentley Street in Waterford, California. Here is that dispatch audio. 727 and 928 to 1011 for a set there. 13003 Bentley Street off of Timbell. RT's roommate fired a gun in the house. And they're unsure why. And the responsible is Brad Lachlan. Uh, RT's not sure if he used it on himself or what the circumstances are. Copy. If we saw RT on the phone, if there's anyone else in the house, can we get them out? Copy. As deputies are en route to the call, they are attempting to have dispatch work with the caller to get people outside of the home. This is a map of the neighborhood that shows where deputies positioned themselves as they arrived on scene. One deputy took position to the east of the residence on Bentley. Another deputy took a position across the street from the home. The rest of the responding deputies parked their vehicles at the intersection of Bentley and Timbell Road. They immediately established a quick reaction force known as a QRF, in the driveway to the west of the subject location. The QRF is a rescue team that was made up of five personnel, one sergeant, one with a ballistic shield, one with a less lethal shotgun, and two deputies with rifles. The following is video from body camera, and it shows deputies speaking with people trapped inside the house. Hey, this is the, sher this is the sheriff's office. So, well, how can we get you guys to come out that window so we can secure you guys? Do you, do you think he's capable of hurting you guys? Has he ever made any threats like that that he wants to hurt you guys? No. Okay, do you think he wants to... Do you have any reason to believe that he wants to hurt you guys? Okay. Has he gotten violent? Has he ever been arrested before or anything like that? Hey, make sure if you're, hey, get the QRF ready. I think he's like coming towards her door, so we might just have him ready. Get ready to come this way. Right. Okay. Is your door secured? Like, is it locked? No. Make sure your door is locked, and if you can. If you do it quietly, put, put furniture in front of your door if you have to, so he doesn't come in there. Just so we can have them both with you. My boyfriend doesn't feel safe going to the door. Okay, but if your door's not secured and he makes his way in there, there's nothing that's going to stop him from opening that door. How sure are you that you heard a gunshot? Hey, good. 100% sure. Okay, what kind of guns does this guy have? I don't know. Have you guys ever seen him with a firearm? Okay, have you ever seen him with a firearm? Yeah, a handgun. A handgun? What color? Like silver, black, a revolver? Yeah. Silver. So we have deputies outside, armed, we ready to assist you guys. We're coming outside. But our main concern is trying to get you outside as discreetly as possible. We have a contact team that's directly on the left side of your house. So as soon as you guys come out the window and come towards your front yard, we can literally guide you guys to us, um, to a secured location. How many people are left in the home? There's six in the home. And they're all in different rooms? There's two in one room, two in another. And, and the, then Brad and his brother, I don't know where they are. Okay, so is there a possibility that Brad's brother could have been in the front room and is hurt? Maybe. At this point in time, deputies do not know if anyone had been injured by the gunshot inside of the house, but they did know several people were hiding inside for their safety. Deputy Zazueta was on the QRF. The following footage is from his body camera. There's a car coming in hot. Stop him. Car coming in hot. He's not stopping at the house, is he? Uh, yep. It's like an Uber. It's, a, it's coming in. They failed to stop for me. Lift right over. We got movement coming out. Door opening. Open a vehicle drives past the deputy, who is positioned to the east of the residence, and pulls near the front of the house. As this happens, 
male exits the front door onto the porch. Deputies are unaware if this is the suspect or one of the people who had been trapped inside. Can you behind me? What's that? You, you got comms? Let's give her some commands. Stop the car. Is it the same? You're sitting down? Sitting down. <laughs> Nice Ninety ninety four. Can you uh, ask her who just came out? Black hoodie, tan pants. Oh, okay. He's got a fire room. Is that shooting at the Uber or who's shooting at? I don't know. The subject fires a single shot, and deputies try to determine whether or not anyone had been struck by the gunfire. Warning, parts of this video may be disturbing for some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm green. I got green. He's on his phone. Who's in the car? Are they hit? Yeah, he did. He correct. He across the street. Go for it. You guys keep eyes. I got eyes. I'm green on him. I got him. I just don't want him to go towards that car or shoot the car. Yep, come back. Can you see it again? I can't see it right now, but he's got something in his hands. Stand by. Got a gun in his hand. Okay. Good. Okay. Reloading. 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 Take care of what you gotta do, dude. Can't let him back in the house. Not sure where. He's going back in the house. He's waving it around. Do it. Shots fired. He's pointed towards the house. Control six six seven. Shots fired. Contact team. You ready to move? He's down. But gun's still in his hand. Okay, he's down. He's down. Hold on. Hey, put your hands up! Alright, hey, let's move this guy up. Let's yep. get, get an eye pack up here so we can get this yeah, guy. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go. go Push go, it up. Go. Push it up. Pin him with the shield. Yeah, pin him. Where's the firearm? Where's it's alright, just pin him with the shield. It's underneath. It's, it's alright. Pin, pin, pin him with the shield. Pin him with the shield. Just pin him. Now get his arms up. Yeah, yeah. Behind him. I got, I got cover. I'm trying to. I got one. I got cover. Get in there. Get medical. I got one arm. Yeah. Get medical. We got his other arm. All right, we're good. Get, that, get, that Show us your hands. Get over here. Where's the firearm? Fire. I think it's in his waistband. Deputies immediately make their way towards the subject to render aid and secure the firearm. As they are doing this, one of the residents attempts to exit through the front door where deputies are standing. Here, roll him on his Stay back. In the house. Stay in the house. Stay in the house. Stay Get the shield on that door. Get the shield on that door. Get that firearm out. Get the firearm secured. Get it out of here. It's secured. This is drone footage from the Sirius Police Department showing deputies recovering the handgun that was under the subject. There was an ambulance stage nearby. Deputies performed life saving measures until paramedics arrived on scene and pronounced 27 year old Bradley Lachlan deceased. Upon clearing the house, all occupants were accounted for and uninjured. Deputies later determined that the driver of the vehicle who had pulled up to the house was unrelated to this incident and was also uninjured. To clarify previously released information, our initial press release indicated that PA announcements had been made. That was inaccurate. No PA announcements had been made. Per department policy, Deputy Zazueta was placed on administrative duties. 
As with any officer-involved shooting, multiple investigations are currently taking place. The Sheriff's Office is conducting the legal investigation, as well as an administrative investigation into policy matters. The District Attorney's Office is conducting a parallel investigation to ours. This is a tragic situation for everyone involved. Our heart goes out to the family, to our staff, and to all of the friends and neighbors who were impacted by this incident.